In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create cheetah-inspired eyes. I love the contrast of black on gold, so for the eyeshadow, I created brown corners that gently blend into gold. First, we need to prime our eyes. I'm using Almay's Bright Eyes. This will help our eye makeup to endure hours and hours of wear. Gently pat the primer onto your lids. Now it's time to put the eyeshadow bases onto our lids. Using a matte light brown and starting at the corners of your eyes, swipe the color on until you get to the ball of your eye. Then, use a matte dark gold to fill in the rest of your lid. Use a fluffy blending brush to create a gentle gradient of brown to gold. We don't want any harsh edges. It's time to use our shimmer palette. Coat your eyeshadow brush with a dark, shimmery brown and then coat the inside corners of your eyes with it. Use a coppery colored shimmer to fill in the rest of your brown base. You can see that now I have some eyeshadow underneath my eyes. Here I'm using a fan brush to gently brush away this fallout. If I were to use my fingers, I'd end up smudging it onto my skin. Use a dark gold shimmer to fill in your crease. The brush that I'm using is perfect for this sort of contouring. It gives me stability and precision. Now we've got harsh edges. Gently blend out the gold with the brown using your fluffy blending brush. I've picked a lighter gold with a yellow base to fill in the outer edges of my eyes. I'm also filling in the areas towards my brow bone with this color. All of that blending has muted our brown. If you want to, refill the inner corners of your eyes with a dark brown shimmer. Now is the time to do any touch-ups, brush away any fallout, blend out any harsh edges, or use a Q-tip to remove any excess. Use a thin eyeliner brush, dip it in black gel eyeliner, and line your eyes. I'm using gel liner from Coastal Scents in True Black. We want the top lid to be slightly rounded towards the middle. This will help our eyes to appear more cat-like. Extend the eyeliner past your eyes in a gentle curve upwards. Fill in your lower waterline. Make the outer corner of your waterline thick with gel eyeliner, but the inner corner thin. Connect the lower waterline to the cat eye.
Now it's time for me to show you how to paint on your cheetah spots. Use a black liquid eyeliner to paint on your spots. Use a liquid eyeliner with a sturdy brush that grants you precision and accuracy, such as L'Oreal's Telescopic Precision Liquid Eyeliner. To start your cheetah spots, paint on a small V pointing upwards. Continue to paint on small Vs, just make sure to point them in different directions. You can also paint on small, irregular shaped circles. Paint your cheetah spots onto the outer corners of your eyelids. Liquid eyeliner won't smudge, even if you put the spots on your crease. Also, if you use the right liquid eyeliner, painting on your spots will be easy. L'Oreal's Telescopic Precision Eyeliner uses a felt brush, which makes painting on tiny details easy. Now that our cheetah spots are complete, it's time to make them pop. The insides of our spots are empty, but not for long. Use Hard Candy's Walk the Line Liquid Eyeliner in Dream Girl to fill in your spots with shimmery gold. Don't fill all of them in though. When you're satisfied with filling in your spots with gold, coat a tiny detail brush in a copper color. Now, fill in any empty spots. This will make our spots look more realistic and dynamic. Coat another detail brush with a yellow based gold. Then line your lower lash line just underneath your gel eyeliner. Cheetahs have big tear tucks. To imitate that, coat your detail brush with a black shimmer and then fill in the inner corners of your eyes. Now it's time to lengthen our lashes. Use accent lashes to put onto the outer corners of our eyes. This will help us to appear more cat-like. When the glue has dried, use an eyelash curler to curl your lashes. Use a mascara and comb through your lashes. Pay special attention to the edges of your eyes and mold your real lashes with the fake lashes. I prefer to use Maybelline's Pulse Perfection for molding since the vibrations help me to get every single eyelash. Now we need to fill in our eyebrows. Use gentle strokes and feel free to create dramatic arches. Don't forget to use brow gel to hold your eyebrows in place. And now we're done. We've created fierce and edgy cheetah inspired eyes that sparkle gold when shown in the light. Thank you so much for watching.